The cruise industry is expecting a strong upturn in 2019. A record 17 ships are expected to come online next year. The problem is there's a not enough space, enough capacity at the ports to accommodate that new demand. Royal Caribbean, a major cruise liner, is taking matters into its own hands, launching Terminal A, which we're at here today. It's the first time a cruise liner has built and operated its own terminal here in Port Miami. And it's an expansive effort, over 2,000 construction workers, a potential economic impact of $500 million, and Royal expects bookings to increase from 750,000 to 1.8 million per year. Over time, Royal expects to lease out this terminal to some of its competitors like Norwegian and Carnival. Analysts say that will create a new source of opportunity for the cruise line operator. But there are a number of headwinds out there. We spoke to CEO Richard Fain, not only geopolitical, but U.S.-China trade tensions as well. Listen in. I'm a free trade advocate, and uh, anything that creates tensions about free trade, I view as economically a bad thing. The other challenge is timing. The launch of this terminal comes amid renewed fears over the state of the consumer, the outlook of the economy. SunTrust analyst Patrick Scholes, who covers travel and leisure, says this is a sector that is economically sensitive. And Cruise lines and the industry in general thrives when the consumer feels confident about their, the jobs market and the economy. That's when they're more likely to prioritize travel and experiences like cruising. Wilfred, back to you. Seema, on the topic of the uh, trade fears with China, would an Asian uh, uh, cruise goer board a cruise ship in Miami or, or would there be ports that they use uh, in Asia itself? I, will this particular uh, spot be affected whether China trade discussions uh, improve or not? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, it's really interesting to see, Wilfred, is the latest data we have from the Commerce Department shows that Chinese tourists to the United States are already down year to year, and a lot of experts say that is due, in fact, to the ongoing trade tensions. Now, the other part of the story is the cruise industry, specifically the U.S. cruise line operators, expanding their efforts in Asia. So Royal Caribbean, Carnival, among others, are really trying to attract that Chinese traveler by setting up cruises in and around the Asian region. But over time, the real goal is to get them to Port Miami. This is the cruise capital of the world. Seema, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, hopefully you'll be outside you. uh, later when it gets lighter and you can see more of that oh, port and bet. the cruise ships. Uh, Seema Modi for us in Miami.